welcome Sagittarius. Welcome to this timeless Counting Crows reading. Yeah, it's a brand new reading, so I had to look down and see what I named it again. Well, I didn't name it. It's in my book here, my beautiful little book, um, for The Murder of Crows Tarot, that I use. And I've never used it before, but I did a spread for myself and was just, just like, oh yeah, this is so good, so enlightening. And so I want to do it for all the signs. And Sag, I haven't done a reading for you in a while, so it's timeless, meaning it's going to reach you in divine timing, you know. If you were drawn to this reading and you hit play, then I'm sure there's some messages in, in it for you. So remember, do the, all the things like, share, subscribe. You know, if you want to follow me on Facebook, too, it's Mystic Gwen. Um, and yeah, that's where you'll see a lot of my artwork, too, if you're interested in any of that. Oh, I make some beautiful macrame and, and really cool and intuitive work. So um, artwork. Anyways, I love you, Sag. Um, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Guides. Thank you to the Ascended Masters and to the Ancestors, to the Archangels. Thank you all. Please, please help me to relay the most accurate information to the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember to check out your uh, the other videos, too, um, for your other placements, because there are maybe multiple messages Spirit is saying. So... Um, if you're looking for a private reading too, reach out to me. I'm booking those. And thank you, thank you, thank you when you donate. Oh, yeah. I do a happy dance. I swear. I love you guys. And please just let me know if it resonates. Really, this is a new spread. So a real, it's got some specific questions. And um, I'm so excited to start. Let's do this. Um, by the way, I'm trying to tune into your energy. Get ready for this reading. Um, lots of wonky things happening. You know, the Scorpio one went, like that I recorded before this one, was just real smooth, you know. But, like, I couldn't get the lighting right for this, and then there was this candle that I wanted to, to have burning, and it was a blue candle. And it does not want to be lit for this reading. It, it, it It's like Sagittarius is, like, done with the, the blue emotional healing that I always talk about. Like, now they're fiery. Uh, <laughs> and, um... It's not water. They, it's the blue candle was not the right color to light for this for this reading. So it it wouldn't fit in the holder. It was a skinny. It was it's a skinny candle. See, it's a skinny, and I have a, a, a larger taper holder here, and it just kept falling over and falling over, and it was just like I kept getting distracted when I and I was like, what what is going on? And then my cat was going crazy, and then she was digging in the garbage, which she never digs in the garbage, and I was like, well, that's weird energy, too, coming in, you know, but black cat digging in the garbage, I don't know if that might mean something to you. <sighs> Sash. It was crazy kind of energy, kind of all over the place. So, first question that I asked this, the, my beautiful deck here, um, is the challenge that you face right now in your current life experience. And that is the Hermit. And I am re re reading reversals, by the way, in this spread. And it was the Hermit reversed. So it tells me that you have, like, that energy that I was describing to you. There is just a lot of a lot going on. A lot coming at you. A lot coming and going. Doing and, um, yeah, a lot. And not being able to find this time to retreat inner, you know, the, the hermit is that, you know, spiritual journey inward, retreating from from society and finding your own source of love and self again, you know, and you can see he carries this kind of very heavy bird cage. They look, the bars look very heavy, you know, so I'll carry maybe a lot of burden burdens but yeah it came out reverse so not the challenge you face is not doing this or not retreating not finding this time for yourself and it comes out reverse okay and what you can gain by facing it is the two of cups coming out up fucking right man like that's what i'm telling you that's what we have we have to make time sag for ourselves, for a radical self-love for a taking a break a vacation using your sick days even if you're not sick i don't know who i'm talking to so i'm you know because you got to find this love for you again this two of cups and the two of cups too is also like this really newfound love and within a relationship too the two of cups is your mirror is your twin flame is you know and any more what i think is your twin flame is just your, is yourself fall in love with you again 
you know, because that only brings such such growth, such beauty, such ascension, such higher love, such more fulfillment. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm so glad that came up right up right for you. So the challenge you face about this, finding this time, this retreat, this space, this healing that you want to do, this journey, whatever it is, that's spiritual, okay? The hermit, this rest, this hibernation. These are all the words that go with the hermit, okay? It's going to bring you the two of cups when if you, if you could figure this shit out and make this upright, okay? So something that you must let go of is the eight of wands. It come out reversed. So when we look at the card like this, reverse, it looks very much like these staffs are actually like the roots, like they're buried. The birds are buried or hanging, hanging. Okay. <clears throat> these birds are up high on a high stock, stake, staff, whatever. And it's almost that message of come down off your high horse. Sag. I hate to put it that way, but that's just the way the bird, the birds are blunt. This energy is blunt. And these are like, I just feel like these are, this is all that responsibility of others. That eight of wands, my cat in the background again, getting into the trash. Like there's much distraction that comes in with your reading, by the way. Um, so I can see why you're having that. Do you hear my cat going crazy? Like, Having, finding that solitude, finding that quiet, that inner peace, that is so much going on in the 3D around you is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, eight, of, eight of Wands. Out of the weeds they rise, they, their perch is shooting up into the sky in defiance of the brambles they grow out of between heaven and earth. They are noble birds ready to fly free. You feel an itch between your shoulder blades and you could swear that trembling beneath your skin, ready to unfold and carry you into the clouds. You feel your own magnificent wings. Taking to the sky, rapid growth, extreme intensity, coordination. And you just, with it being reversed there, it's like you, you and it's <laughs> something that you gotta let go of. It's like, let go of always having to be the, maybe having the last word. Um, you don't always have to be in a state of growth, you know, time to integrate, time to nest, time to heal, you know, um, more of a moderate approach instead of in such an extreme, stop rushing into things is almost what I'm feeling too, because, um, Something that's entering your life right now is this three of pentacles, which is, is upright, too. It's like building a solid foundation instead of rushing into something with, like, that eight of wands kind of energy, which is scattered and not really grounded. These, these birds aren't on the ground. The energy is not grounded, okay? And so that this coming in... Something new into your life is a very grounding energy where you're building. You're building it how you see fit. That's how I see this card. Okay? And then um, resources that can help you was the question that I asked. And that's this Four of Cups. And it came out reversed, by the way. Okay? We need to let go of... Um, because cups is about dreams, emotions, how you feel about yourself here is a lack of self-worth. And actually this, like, he's so f focused on something that he doesn't even see this beautiful bird right in front of his face. Like, look over your shoulder, dude. Look over your shoulder. It's right there in front of your fucking face. It's reversed. So we're, we're healing aspects of that. Um, if you could heal, if you could find ways in which to love yourself deeply and, and be grateful for what's right, what's right there, what you do have, focus on that. That can help in the situation, and um, forces that are working against you because it's good to know, you know, what could be blocking me? Am I blocking my own path? You know, or is it is it 
you know, the energy or the who I'm building relationships with or, or whatever, you know. And it's the Knight of Swords energy coming in, which the Knight of Swords energy, you're my cat in the background, just causing holy hell. Like, she has once again dug a receipt out of the garbage. You know, it's kind of distracting to me. Do I really care? Can she hear herself? No, but it's like, it's just that little background noise, that distraction. Ugh. And the nails all over, running around. It's fast, furious energy. And that's this Knight of Swords, too, by the way. <laughs> Force is working against you. Rushing into things without thinking them through clearly is a blockage or a, a you know, of, of this kind of energy, okay? Because the Knight can be extremes in, in, um, in emotions, okay? Or in, in in the spectrum, extremes one way or the other. And so he very much rushes in without thinking things through. Ground your ideas. Start building a solid foundation with this three of pentacles, okay? And the action, the key action that will bring the needed transformation is the eight of pentacles. And it was reversed, by the way. Eight of Pentacles is like, is that student, is that creative who really puts in the fucking work to master their fucking craft. Really is the one that, you know, has been working a long time at a job and put in the hard work, work their way up the fucking ladder, you know, and to, to have that what they have. And but it the work ethic has because it's reversed here with the key action that's needed is that your work has consumed your life almost. And it needs to, you need some freedom, some, some time to hermit. You know, this is a purse. There's a medicine man here with the, that has a pen, a fountain pen in their hand, you know, and it's a time to journal and get to know self more and to add more play and adventure into your life to fall in love with yourself again so that you can really ground your ideas, your craft Okay, but when it comes out reversed, it's 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 a, it's the blockage. It's you know too much time spent focusing on work and not enough play, Sag. That's what I've got to say. What's the underlying energy? The the page of swords. There's the messages that are going to be coming in fast. There's that fast energy again. Be prepared. An email, a note, a, a a love offer coming in, a new job. I don't know. Lots of energy here and there, and everywhere. That's this page. You need to do some grounding. <laughs> I'm gonna go any further than that. I love you, Sag. I love you, love you, love you, love you. I need to disconnect from your energy. Woosa. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what my cat has completely tore up behind me, but it's crazy. She was putting on a show for you too. So cat, cat being playful again, right? Bring the play back into work. Into all in every mo now moment, my darlings, that's a big message here, okay? Fall in love with you and make this time to hermit. Okay? Come down off the high horse. Come down off of this and ground. Come down off of... Don't quit carrying everybody else's burdens upon your shoulders. Start building your new life how you want to re how you want to create it. You Yeah, you're the master creator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Love you.